So this video is going to tell you all about Muffin Cat. If you've had me before in art class, you know who Muffin Cat is, or at least you should. But just in case you need a refresher or you're a new student, or maybe you're in kindergarten, I'm going to tell you the tale of Muffin Cat. This is Muffin Cat. He is an oil painting that I painted. I was taking an oil painting class with Del Parson in Southern Utah, and everyone was painting really nice things like oceans and beaches and trees, but I was painting this guy, a big, lovable, fat cat from the internet. His name is Muffin Cat, as I mentioned. Now, when I originally did the Muffin Cat painting, I painted him with oil paint, which is a special kind of paint that takes a really long time to dry. I wouldn't recommend that you start playing around with oil paint till you're a little bit older, but it's one of my favorite paints to use. I just love it. And I do love that it dries really slowly because then I can work on it one day and then the next day I can go back and work on it again and that paint still might move around. It's pretty cool stuff, but it definitely stains everything. So warning for the parents out there, maybe don't buy oil paints till your students are a little bit older. <laughs> well, anyway, I did this muffin cat painting and I did this other painting. I don't have that other painting anymore. Students ask all the time. Sorry. I did Muffin Cat and this other painting of another cat and they were still wet with the oil paint. I took them and I laid them flat in the trunk of my car side by side. So they were next to each other like this. And then I drove to my art class. And when I got to my art class, the other cat painting, the cat painting I don't even know where it is or care about, slid on Muffin Cat's bottom. Now let's take a look. If you look here at Muffin Cat's bottom, do you see? Right here. That's where the other painting slid and it smudged Muffin Cat's bottom. And I was so devastated because I really loved this painting of Muffin Cat. I went into my art class and I said to my professor, Professor Parson, my painting's ruined. The other painting slid on his bum and ruined him. And do you know what Professor Parson said to me? He said, I think it's better that way. And I was like, what? No, it's ruined. It's smudged. His bum is smudged. But Professor Parson pointed out that sometimes in art, accidents happen. Mistakes are made. Paintings slide on other paintings. But sometimes those mistakes and those accidents lead to something even better. He said, now Muffin Cat has texture. Now Muffin Cat has some dimension. He's a little more interesting. Look at this texture. I didn't do that. It was an accident. He said it took it from just kind of a painting of a big fat cat and made it a little more interesting. I loved that idea. And that's an idea I've carried throughout my time teaching art. When we make a mistake, don't panic. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it leads us to something more exciting and better. Problem solve. Make it work. Later on, I added the flowers. That's why they're not smudged. And then I put them in this big, beautiful frame because I felt that Muffin Cat deserved a big, beautiful frame because he's a big, beautiful cat. I hang him in my classroom every year as a reminder to my students when we make mistakes, when something happens to our art project, when our friend accidentally spills the watercolor water on our painting, how can we make it work? How can we make this bad thing into a good thing? Can we problem solve? Can we find some way to fix this? Do we have to crumple up our paper and throw it away? No, problem solve, muffin cat it. See how you can make this mistake into something wonderful. Or maybe you just like the mistake and say, I'm gonna let it stay that way. That's the legend of Muffin Cat. And that's whoa, why I always have in my classroom. That's why a lot of students call me Mrs. Muffin. I hope you enjoyed the story or the legend of Muffin Cat. I would love it if you want to make up your own legend or origin story of Muffin Cat. How do you think Muffin Cat came to be? How do you think I found a picture of a cat like this on the internet? Did he eat so many muffins he became shaped like one? Is he from a planet that's covered with people who are shaped like muffins and cats? Or is it something else? I don't know, you tell me. I'd love to hear your stories though. 